Hey everybody, Shane here. So today I'm gonna show you how to put on DuPont and JST connectors onto your wires. Okay, so the process for these is the same for both of them. They use basically the same crimper and they use the same type of crimp onto the wires. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with the DuPont because I have more of them sitting around. Again, this is exactly the same. So in your kit, you're gonna have a whole bunch of the connectors. You're gonna go ahead and just peel one off, wiggle it back and forth and it will come off of the strand. So we have three different sizes here for these cables. I generally will sometimes use the middle and then go to the small one, but it really just depends on how small the wire is that I'm actually going to crimp. Okay, so we have two sets of pieces that crimp down on this connector. You have the lower V part down here. That's gonna crimp onto the insulation of your cable. And then we have the two parts that's upright like this, right there in the middle here. And those are what's gonna crimp down onto your actual wire. So I'm using a very small blue wire here to make this work. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my flush cutters to strip it off. You can use auto strippers or anything else, but I'm very comfortable using those to go ahead and get my cable off. And you're gonna go ahead and give it a twist. Now, depending on the gauge of wire you're using, you sometimes need to fold this over in order to get it actually in the connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this one over like this to make it a little bit bigger when it goes into the connector because it needs something to kind of grab onto and really, really thin wires, that won't work out so well. Okay, so back to our crimper here. So we're gonna go ahead and use this small one here. I'm going to put my connector in there with the V up, okay? And I'm gonna go until right there. The connector is in there tightly now. It is held in and I can still see through it and get my wire through. I'm then going to take my wire, push it in all the way until basically it stops. So when it stops, that means the insulation is hitting those two uprights that are up and that it's all the way in. Then all I need to do is fully squeeze down and pull it out. And there we have a good crimp on our wire. Again, you can see the bottom part down here is crimped into the insulation and the middle part right next to it, that is gripped on nothing but wire. So this is gonna ensure that we have a very good connection between the wire and the connector. And also notice it is still very straight. If you bend these, it might be hard to get it back into the housing of your connector, but this is what it should look like. And that's how you add a DuPont or JST connector to your wires.